What's up guys and welcome to my first YouTube video. So, the reason I'm making this video today is because I've scoured the internet and I cannot find anything on the install for a 3H airlift system. So hopefully this video can help some of you out. So I'm not gonna go through the technical aspects of how to install bags, because I'm sure there's enough videos out on that. Um, what I wanna concentrate on is the sensor location, uh, the length of the rods, um, and then if there's any brackets installed. So this is my 2011 STI uh, very wide body that the sensors are installed. These are the, my show wheels. These are a 18 by 11 uh, plus 10 uh, with a 275 35 18. I also run my track wheels which are 18 by 10 and a half uh, plus 15 with 265 35 18. Um, I have tracked this car and there are no clearance issues with the body kit and in relation to where the sensors are located. So for the front wheel, this is where the location is for this. Um, so th this one is self tap screwed into the frame rail. Uh, the wires you can see have continued up. Make sure those are clean because you want to make sure those are not in the way. Um, the location of the rod goes into the top strut bar. There is a hole already there. You just have to make sure that you add the washer right here and also a washer on this side to ensure that um, it doesn't fall through. These are something I had to go to Home Depot for. Um, make sure also they're stainless steel so they're not rusting out. I put a double spacer right here that's included in the kit um, and then another washer and a lock washer on the back side. The double washer is to ensure that this is under the 15 degrees this way to ensure that it's reading accurately. So this right now would be in the full bottom position and then you have to make sure you have your 120 degrees of swivel. The distance between this, the bottom of this nut right here and the top of this nut right here is five and a half inches. And now for the back wheel. So as you can see for the back wheel, I've added the center about an inch and a half from this bottom edge right here uh, to the bottom edge of there. Um, this one you do have access to the backside, so I decided to use bolts instead of using the washers. Um, I've drilled a hole in here uh, and put a grommet to make sure it's limited wire that's running through. The distance from the bottom side of this nut to the top side of this one is 5 and 13 sixteenths. Uh, the only difference with this one is you do have to build a bracket for the bottom here. So this right here is a stock bolt and a stock location. So all I've done is built this bracket to basically attach to this point. So the, the bracket that I made was before I had everything mocked up. So if you want to, you could also bring this bracket a little bit farther so that you don't have to end up um, running these spacers. Hopefully this video helped some of you out and uh, allowed you to know where these center locations are because like I said, I couldn't find anything. Um, I don't tend to use this YouTube channel a lot, so if you do have any questions, uh, DM me on Instagram. My Instagram name is rallylow underscore racing and I can try to help you out with any further questions.